if I put you in a time machine and I send you back 150 years ago, and if you go down in 1850s and say that in future people will be able to fly, people will laugh at you. Same way, if I take the same time machine and bring you in the 1950s, and if I say that one day there will be uh, wireless phones which you can carry in your pocket and you will be able to browse internet also, people would have laughed at you. Same way, if I take you in the same time machine 30 years ago and said that you will have a smartphone with no buttons, you know, people will laugh at you. Exactly the same revolution is happening right now. So 30 years fast forward, it will look like normal. But today it looks like impossible. It looks like not possible. In fact, I was talking to a CEO of a very popular biotech company in India, drug discovery company in, in India. And he was like, I'm yet to see any progress in AI and drug discovery. And then I was like, dude, there is so much progress. So at this juncture, even the CEOs are lagging behind when it comes to updating knowledge about computational biology. And when it comes to computational drug design, this is one revolution which is going to take the drug discovery industry by storm. Now, the fun part about drug discovery industry. Companies spend three times more money in clinical research today than the, on the actual drug discovery. Because they really want to make it successful, so they will go and do, do the clinical uh, research and clinical testing in every possible population across the globe. right? So they spend three times or four times, up to ten times more on the clinical research than on the actual drug development and drug designing. right? But this is all going to change. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the future where computational drug design is going to reduce the cost of drug design. Right. So as a student, as a future scientist, as the future hope of drug discovery industry of tomorrow, you must think about pursuing a degree or a diploma or a certification or if not at least a skill enhancement program in drug discovery. Now, before I get into that, let me tell you today the future scope of computational drug design. So by now you must have understood what exactly is drug design. So computational drug design is application of computational tools, techniques to discover, optimize and develop new drugs. Now. The best part is it plays a vital role in the pharmaceutical industry. But at the same time, the Indian pharmaceutical industry is still sleeping and very less companies have adopted. That means more jobs are going to be generated in the future. More success is going to come in the future in India. But right now it's moving slow. But catch the train when it is still moving slow because once the train is fast, you can't catch it, right? That's exactly the thing which I want to tell all my subscribers and students. The time has come to understand what is drug designing using computational tools. And now let's talk about the application of drug designing and development using computational tools. Now, the first and foremost thing is when you are trying to do drug discovery, the biggest challenge will be lead optimization. That means you have got the molecule now optimizing it so that it goes and attaches to the biological targets. Now, if that is not happening, then definitely that molecule is of no use. Even though it has the right kind of pharmaceutical properties, therapeutic properties, if it is not going and binding to the biological target, it's of no use, right? So using computational tools, you can optimize the lead, you can optimize the molecule and make sure that it goes and binds to the biological target where you want it to bind. For example, you don't want it to bind to the um, parietal cells in the stomach, instead you want it to bind to the uh, neuro, uh, neuro neurons in the brain, right? So you have to optimize this lead to only attach to that particular biological target. It's like a guided missile. You are giving a GPS to the guided missile so that GPS can be built using computational drug discovery that is called as a lead optimization potential drug is there but you, if you cannot attach it will just go in uh, the urine or uh, the feces right so lead optimization is one potential uh, field where you can use computational drug design now coming to the next one which is predicting the drug target interaction okay you could attach the drug to the target but after that what happens will the movie be a hit or a flop that we have to decide. So 
once we have optimized the lead and now we can mimic or simulate what will happen if this particular drug attaches to a liver cell hepatocytes what will happen if it attaches to a muscle what will happen if it attaches to a particular cell in us in the spleen so using computational models researchers can predict the binding affinity and mode of interaction between drugs and their target proteins that will facilitate the real drug design because right now the companies are driving blind it's like those days when you didn't had a google map you were driving but you have to ask somebody this road goes to chennai they will say no and then you have to take a u turn right exactly same thing is happening in drug discovery right now and that is why it is so late and that is where the company in picture is grodia now grodia technologies is a gurgaon based company and it is headed by a very good friend of mine he is from iit and uh, he started this startup in gurgaon and they are doing this drug discovery you lead optimization predicting of drug target interaction ligand binding ligand docking all of this right so grodia is coming up with a computational drug design course for all of you and exclusively only on biotechnica's platform it will be available it will be in the last week of september all the details is given in the description you can check it and if you are interested you can always pursue this course it will change the way you look at your biological career now let's come back to the regular topic but before that let me give you a hint avinash who is the ceo of this particular company grodia he is himself going to train you on uh, this drug designing course and that means if he is impressed by your knowledge your, your expertise then he may hire you right so how good it is you get trained by a ceo and if he likes you he will he may hire you so go ahead enroll link in the description now coming back to the topic next step will be virtual screening and molecular docking so obviously you must have heard of molecular docking when we were training you for bioinformatics right it's all exciting so computational tools enable us to if we uh, to uh, do the efficient screening of large database of compounds now we already know there is a large database of compounds using computational tools we can pick which particular compound will work for us and which will not right and then we can do the docking with the target protein okay if will it dock this will aid into the identification of the potential drug leads so this entire process is currently called as computational drug disc designing now more details in depth uh, 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 designing and uh, drug discovery details will be taught in the course which i said but for now let me tell you that this particular segment is not full proof so that means a lot of research has to be done so let me tell you now the challenges the first challenge is, is big data i'm sure you must have heard of the big big data biology course at ibab right they have msc course so big data management and analysis now because we are daily generating a lot of biological data chemical data and that that poses a huge risk huge challenge because the current computational tools and computing is not probably able to process so such a huge data so big data management and analysis is one challenge the second challenge which this particular tool faces is accuracy and reliability because uh the fda may not accept it uh it is still not a norm in majority of the pharmaceutical companies so uh, it is still developing it is still evolving so how can we rely on it so accountability and reliability the accuracy part is still not uh 100% and that brings in all of you as a researcher who will actually take it to the 100% so there is a huge scope so far suppose it is reaching to 85 to 90% you can take it to 100% accu accuracy and reliability and that is where you can become an expert in drug designing and discovery the next one will be integration of different computational methods now computational method is not only limited to one mode right there are several tools there are several modes of statistical analysis now there is machine learning also coming in and if we are able to somehow combine all of this then we can enhance and uh, make it much more efficient drug designing workflow and that challenge can be overcome in the future if people like you pursue drug designing so these are the three challenges which you will face as a um, researcher in uh, computational drug design but the future is bright for because of three trends which is become, going to become a tradition okay the first is artificial intelligence and machine learning you are seeing you are in a machine learning era artificial intelligence era chat gpt you know how things are revolutionary the second is high performance computing i have already spoken about quantum biology quantum computing quantum chemistry a lot now all of this 
boils down to what? The biggest problem humanity faces is drug discovery and that will be enhanced using computational biology. Now, the third is a field which is not really talked about by the pharmaceutical industry because they may lose a lot of money. But that is personalized medicine. Many pharmaceutical companies, big pharmaceutical companies don't want uh, personalized medicine, medicine to come up because if personalized medicine comes up, then the regular bulk drugs will go out of the window. But hey, in cancer, you can't have a bulk drug. You need to have personalized medicine. There are diseases where personalized medicine is the only answer. So personalized medicine and tailoring the drug design according to the person that is the future, my dear students, and that is why you should pursue drug designing and discovery using computational biology tools. So this is the advancement and the future trends. Now, let me conclude by saying that potential impact on drug discovery process is going to be huge. But if you really want to witness it, like how it works, how things are done, and uh, you really want to uh, to be taught by a CEO who himself is onboarding so many pharma companies and doing drug discovery for them, then I think Grodia Technologies is uh, the company where you should go for. This company is coming up with an exclusive drug discovery using computational biology tools course, seven days course online in the evening every day. The link is given in the description. Please register because the early bird offer is there for all the students who register early. Later on, this will not be there. So do not delay guys. Please go ahead and register for this course. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then keep shining. Bye-bye.